All right? So here's another polyatomic ion that um, is somewhat less frequently encountered, but still an important ion. Um, here we have potassium, K, and this is the chlorate ion. Okay, the, uh, this actually is part of a series. There's ClO3, ClO2, ClO, and uh, even ClO4. Okay, so 4, 3, 2, 1, um, there's chlorate, and then here I have scandium. Remember, this is one of the uh, other exceptions that I talked about. It's in that first row, so it always has a plus 3 charge. So I don't show the Roman numerals. This will just be scandium and then chlorite. So chlorate, just like before with nitrate and nitrite, it has one less. Sulfate, sulfite has one less than the sulfate. Chlorite has one less than the chlorate. Okay. Now when we get to um, down one further than that, we change the name of that ion uh, a little bit to reflect that. And here we have Sn is tin. And tin, um, tin is not a transition metal, but it does have a variable uh, charge. It's in the same group as carbon and silicon, um, and uh, but it's on the other side as a of the metal non-metal boundary, and this is a metal, and tin um, does have a variable charge, and so we have to specify it there. Um, and we know all of these uh, chlorine oxygen ions, um, they all have a negative one charge. So if I have two of those, then this must be a negative two, and the tin would have to be a positive two to balance that out. So this will be tin two. And here's where we change uh, the name. Well, the, the name of this ClO ion is hypochlorite. Okay, so if we want to go one less oxygen atom than the chlorite, we put a hypo prefix in front of it. So it's hypochlorite. Incidentally, sodium hypochlorite, that's your household bleach. So this ion is uh, in your household bleach. Okay, here lead also like tin um, though it is not um, <clears throat> among the uh, transition metals, it's actually just below tin. Um, it uh, also has a variable charge, and so we uh, need to write that. And we would have to know from the chromate, CrO4, that uh, this is a minus 2, the CrO4, and so the lead must be positive 2. So this would be lead 2, CrO4 is the chromate ion. Alright, here we have magnesium and a related ion to the chromate is dichromate. Um, this is the dichromate ion, it just has that name, don't worry about uh, prefixes using prefixes with that, but um, magnesium, of course, is always a positive 2, so we don't have to write the nom Roman numeral. It's just magnesium dichromate. Okay, just a few more. Here we have uh, strontium and Strontium is in the alkaline earth metals uh, group. It always has a plus two, so just like magnesium, we don't write the charge. But we have uh, the uh, ion here that is in the, in the sequence on the other end. It has one more oxygen. So it's, we give it a prefix just like we gave the hypochlorite uh, a prefix. 
the prefix when you have one more oxygen is per. So we would say this is strontium per chlorate. Okay. And uh, here we have a similar ion, except instead of chlorine with four oxygen, it's manganese with four oxygen. So we have potassium, which always has a positive one charge, so we don't have to write its, its uh, charge in Roman numerals. It's just potassium, and then like the name for the perchlorate, it's permanganate. Okay? Potassium permanganate is um, often, uh, or at least it was often used as a uh, disinfectant. Um, here we have sodium and CN, which is the cyanide ion. So that is sodium cyanide. Okay, this is another one of those ions that um, ends in IDE, even though it is a polyatomic ion. Okay, and here we have YP. Okay, Y is uh, yttrium, and it is uh, underneath uh, scandium. And even though it's a transition metal, it's in that first column where it's fixed at plus three. So we don't need to write the charge. It's just y yttrium, and then phos, and then it's a monatomic anion. So we end that one in IDE. Okay, so all monatomic anions um, end in IDE, um, but there's a, only a couple of um, polyatomic anions that end in IDE. All right, and finally here, CuI, we have uh, that Cu is copper. Copper is a transition metal, and it is not one of the exceptions that has a fixed charge. So we need to write that in, and we know it's charged from the iodine, which is a negative one. It's in the halogens group, so it's a negative one, which makes the copper a plus one. Okay, so that would be copper one iodide. Okay, just like the phosphide monatomic anion, so it ends in IDE. All right, hopefully this has been helpful. And uh, we'll look next at the naming of, or rather, uh, writing formulas from names.